IVC ultrasound has long been proposed as a quick way to assess volume status. But this review says, hold up. Why? Because IVC diameter is influenced by way more than just fluid status. This diagram breaks it down. You've got thoracic pressure, which can collapse the IVC in patients with high PEEP, asthma, or ARDS. Then there's right atrial pressure impacted by right heart failure, tamponade, or a pulmonary embolus. Blood volume changes too, but that's not the only variable. Add in abdominal pressure, think ascites or abdominal compartment syndrome, and IVC wall compliance, which differs in kids, elite athletes, and septic patients. In short, the IVC is a highly dynamic structure, and measuring its diameter in isolation can mislead us. It can be helpful in certain cases, but not all. Hat tip to the authors, don't forget to check out the Vasopressor and Inotrope Handbook. How often do you trust IVC measurements to guide fluid resuscitation?